and we'll see how the vehicle drives away. Hi, we are here with the brand new Rescue Excursion Jaguar by Animal Planet. Let's open it up and get ready for a rescue adventure. Okay, here is our Black Leopard all out of the box. It comes with obviously the Black Leopard, which we're gonna check out first, and he's mechanical. His arm moves up and down. Now this is a chap me product. You can tell by the quality and the heaviness of the leopard. I love that um, it looks like it's ready to pounce. I wish the mouth opened or roared or something with the back legs, but I guess this is pretty fierce. He can kind of go after the veterinarian or the rescuer, although, he does look pretty angry. We know that the rescue people are here to help him and not hurt him. And here are his blue spots on his black body, the black leopard. His teeth look fierce in his yellow eyes. Look at him. We can get him to move up the ramp into the rescue vehicle trailer. And the back of the trailer closes. To lift him up a little to close it, but it does clip into place. There we go. Sorry, vet. Black leopards, which appear to be almost solid in color because their spots are hard to distinguish, are commonly called black panthers. They were about 66 to 176 pounds heavy, and from head to body, they're anywhere between four feet and six and a half feet with an additional three and a half to four and a half feet in tail. They're a mammal and they are near threatened. Let's hitch the toe back on the vehicle so it can drive away with no driver. Oops, let's take a look at our action figure so he can drive it away. Here's our action figure. It looks like he has a flashlight already attached to him. His belt can come off, his arms move, his legs move. Now this looks like a regular chat meat action figure, which I'm very happy to see. I love the chat meat products that they, the Animal Planet puts out. He's got a helmet on, a hat on, so it distinguishes him as a rescuer. And his accessories make me think he might be a veterinarian also. He has a stethoscope, a bottle, maybe water or some hydrating or other cleaning potion, a reflex tool, a scissor, a syringe, a tweezer, a knife, and a scissor tweezer. I don't know what these are called. And he can fit in the vehicle. He has to go in topwise or else he won't fit in there. So we're gonna just put him in the vehicle and we'll see how the vehicle drives away. So let's take a look at the vehicle now. Vehicle looks like it's camouflage. It has animal rescue on the front, animal rescue on the side. It does look like this should come up, but it doesn't. It's got some sort of camera filming so you, they could film uh, while somebody's driving or searching for a panther. It's got a radar here, and of course the tires move, and it's got a hitch on the back to pull the animal once rescued. One thing I do want to point out about this trailer is the very cool fact that some of the bars are bent, implying that this black leopard, this black panther, does not want to be in here. Little does he know, it's to help him. So that is the set we have for you today, our Black Panther Rescue Set. So cool. We have a brand new Animal Planet Lion Rescue Set. We're so excited to get this. And uh, I think the lion may roar, let's see. Oh, the lion doesn't. Oh, there he goes. So let's check it out. So we've got the lion rescue all out of the box. Here we have the truck and it said the back latch opens. It's more of like the whole thing comes up, but we'll play with that in a bit. We have our two action figures and our lion. Let's first take a look at our lion. Look how fierce he looks with his nails and claws. He does not look like he wants to be rescued or like he knows what is going on. Let's see hear him roar. His arms move, well his right arm, left arm moves and his left leg moves. So I, 
I don't know, that's kind of weird. Only his left side moves. It looks like he's in a pounce mode, protecting his little cubs. So let's take a look at his little cubs. Two little baby cubs. They're a little different, which is unusual for Animal Planet. Usually they make the little guys exactly the same. This one has his mouth open and looks like he's like his daddy here, roaring, roar, protecting. And this one looks like a little baby cub that doesn't really know what to do or what is going on. Now let's take a look at the vehicle. So it says that the vehicle tailgate opens to allow the, the animal in and out. And I'm, as you see, it just kind of comes off. So it's very, very fragile. So be really careful when you're playing with it, which I think is okay. That's not such a bad feature to make it that you can take it on and off. It makes it more easy to play with. And you just open the tailgate like that, and then you can somehow whoosh, rescue the lion and get him in. And he fits well when he's not in pounce mode as he was earlier. He fits in the tailgate with his baby cubs, which we'll put in in a second too. So there he is inside. You can just take that off if you wanna play with it more freely and slide it right back on. And on the side it says Animal Planet and the truck is, doesn't not, none of the doors open or anything, which is kind of unusual for an Animal Planet truck, the Chap Me trucks, but it is really secure. It's really sturdy, so you could definitely play with this in the sand or at the beach. Oops, our action figure knocked over at the beach without getting it hurt. Put it in water. Nothing on here is mechanical except, of course, our lion. You don't want to put him in water because he roars. So he's not going to go in water. And you can put in his little cubs with him into the back and rescue away. And the two rescuers are two action figures. Looks like one is a rescuer and one is maybe a vet. And that's what their accessories show also. One of them has all sorts of rescue accessories, the black accessories. There's a lantern, it looks like a taser gun, a water bottle, a tablet of some sort, a camera, binoculars, all sorts of fun things for a rescuer. And then the other one comes with all sorts of, it looks like medical equipment, so I'm gonna think it is for uh, veterinary equipment. It's got scissors, it's got tweezers, a knife, syringe, water bottle, reflex, uh, stethoscope, and uh, kind of like scissors that hold things. I don't know what you call those. Anyway, so those are the, the accessories. And here are our action figures, which are pretty typical Animal Planet rescue figures. Their arms both move and their legs move and their heads spin around. The only thing unusual in this is the rescuer here has blue glasses on. I've never seen that before. The belt can come off of the rescuer and they both fit in the car. The doors don't open, so you'd have to put them in up top, which you can do. I guess that's why there's a big opening on top there. So now that we've got both of our rescuers and all three lions in the truck, they're off to rescue. Transport them across the savannah to safety. We have an awesome Animal Planet Tiger Rescue Mission. And this mission has 10 pieces and awesome lights and sounds. Open it up and check it out. Okay, so here we are all out of the box. As you see, there are a lot of parts and it took me a little bit to get it all out. So we're gonna go over each thing one by one. First, let's go over the tiger. It is the tiger rescue mission after all. Look at this beautiful tiger. Isn't it just stunning? I really, really like the way they painted it. It looks so realistic. The mouth opens and closes. And look at the teeth, look how real those look. Scary, and his tongue too. So beautiful, this tiger. His head does not move. But even the fur underneath looks real. Such a beautiful tiger. His tail doesn't move either. She comes with her baby cubs. Two adorable little cubs. Look how cute they are. They're the same cubs, so cute. They look like they're in training to protect themselves. Rawr. And they come in this little cave, this 
cave that they call a tiger cave, but this is actually the same cave as with the giant spider playset. As you see, there's two things hanging here where they hung the spider web in the last playset. So Animal Planet just did a um, reuse of this cool cave, which is okay because it is an awesome cave and kind of fits in perfectly with the tiger rescue mission. Next, let's take a look at the action figures. These action figures, there's two of them. I couldn't get this guy to fit in the helicopter, but this guy fit in the helicopter, no problem. So that's why he's in the helicopter. But the action figures, their heads move and their arms move and their legs move. And they come with all these really cool accessories. He has a backpack. He has a, a kit for in case something goes wrong to protect himself when he's rescuing the tigers. We'll just clip that on his back. He can be carrying the camera. Maybe he's the cameraman. And let's also give him the lantern. He has a little nub on his side where you can clip something on. I'm not quite sure what it could be, <laughs> but it's there. Maybe we could clip on a camera doesn't really stay there. Anyway, so there's something there to clip on, but he looks pretty cool and he has headphones on, so he is clearly the one out of the helicopter so that he can doesn't lose his hearing listening to the propellers swing around. Now let's take a look at our helicopter pilot. He too is very cool. The only thing about him is his hair is kind of, the paint is kind of coming off, but I do like his green jacket. And he too has an area in the back where he can help. He can wear his rescue pack or maybe it's a parachute. I don't know. What do you think? And he can carry things like the shovel and a knife for self-protection, for self-defense. Of course, he would only use it if absolutely necessary because this is, after all, a rescue mission. So there you have it, our two very brave, very heroic action figures that are going to be saving the tiger. So now let's take a look at this awesome helicopter. Let's put our pilot back in. As you see, he has a cockpit, which is very cool. It's got kind of a lot of different gadgets on the side here, inside there. Nothing really moves, but the top does close fully and open. And these awesome blades swing around. They also bend for storage or they wanna, I don't know. I think helicopter blades sometimes do bend when they're up in the air for landing. I'm not sure. I'm not so up on helicopters, but I know that this one is very cool. It has the lights and sound. Which really is like a helicopter sound. And it says it has a working flashlight. And I'm guessing that that's the flashlight because this down here looks like a flashlight but nothing on it works. It just swivels around. It's got a paw print on the side, this orange helicopter with Animal Planet. And it has the side compartment where you can actually have the baby tigers go when they are rescued, which is pretty cool, or your other action figure, your other rescuer. And of course, the wench that goes up and down. Look how cool this is. So much fun. You can put a little baby tiger in there and rescue him to safety. Maybe to a reserve or someplace where the poachers can't get him and they fly away. So very cool, this helicopter. And this wench moves around so that once you do get the tiger to safety, you can safely move him up into the cargo area we showed before and get his little baby brother. The back also spins around, the propellers there. So overall, really, really cool Animal Planet set. We really, really like it. I love how the Animal Planet sets also show us how we can help the world and save the tigers. This is an awesome tiger rescue mission. Thanks for helping us open this Animal Planet tiger rescue mission set with us. If you like this video, please press like below and please subscribe. Bye.